happy Friday, happy Friday, and happy 15th day of December, which is the 15th day of Vlogmas. I may not put the straw down like I was telling you about in yesterday's vlog. She has been my shadow all morning long. Right, Garbo? They just ate. What? What? What's going on with you today? I think I'm liking the look of this just simple and clean to the point. The reason for the season scene going on here. She's like, I'll just sit down right here, mommy. I'll sit a spell. Come on in and sit a spell. Are you smiling? Huh? Are you smiling? What is that? What is that? <gasps> what? Oh, stick my finger in your eyeball. It's not like you're not already having eyeball issues from rolling in the dead, dry grass outside. I mean, everywhere I go this morning, she's sure to find me. <laughs> Waddles. Little Miss Waddles. Are you Miss Waddles? Waddle, waddle. I'm wanting to put this in here on the top shelf. Can I do it without knocking anything? Oh, we got a light burnt out. Can I do it without knocking anything over? Or even worse, breaking it. Ken says, you're giving all the Christmas home tour footage away. They ha they're going to have already seen everything. <laughs> It'll be different when it's put together as a Christmas home tour and with music added and my mouth not running in it and, you know, done by and filmed during the evening when all, when everything's lit up so lovely and bright. That's what I'm telling myself. That's what I'm telling my. I didn't explain this. I did explain it, but I cut the footage out. I get a lot of footage and I end up cutting probably half to three quarters of it each evening when I'm doing the edits. So I didn't explain this. I'm not sure if it's the salt or the pepper guy. When I was like really, really little, probably seven, eight, um, I, we lived in Old Hickory, Tennessee, and they had this shopping area, and I believe it was called Woolworth, like five and dime items you could get. Well, I had probably no more than a dollar. I I'm really can't recall how much I had. It was very little. But I went shopping for my mom and my two sisters for Christmas, and this is what I had gotten my mom, the salt and pepper shaker. And I can still remember that to this day of being excited over being able to gift my family little Christmas presents. I can't recall what I got my two sisters. Um, but somewhere along the way, one of them has been broke. And I would like to be able to find its match, its mate, and put them back together. Because when I see them, it reminds me of my mom. And I said in yesterday's video that I wouldn't leave it here, but I think I am going to leave it here. Because it just brings back a fond memory each time I walk by and I see it. So why wouldn't you want to leave something out that has good memories to it? Rubber on the bottom that keeps the salt and pepper from falling out, salt or pepper from falling out. But that's the story behind this wee puppy here sitting all alone, lonesome for its mate. I would sure love to find a mate for it. She or he looks so lonesome. <laughs> I made a smoothie, keto friendly smoothie for myself last night. Ken didn't want any. He was still back and forth over at the shop getting a piece ready because the homeowners are going to be closing 
on their house before Christmas and it's got to be in in order to do the final walkthrough. So that's what he's been working on. But the keto smoothie, I keep saying I'm gonna share the recipe. Again, I'll probably delete that footage and you'd never, you've never heard that I was wanting to share it with you all someday. Super simple and super yummy. I was wondering where my other Moringa seed went this morning opening. <laughs> opening my Moringa seeds. So I put in about half of the Premier Protein, the Cake Batter Delight. I put in about half a cup of the Heavy Whipping Cream, one packet of Trivia, and a good handful of um, the sliced strawberries. And then I put that in the blender and let it do its smoothie thing, so uh, quit on its own. And then I pour that into a glass and I top it off with the Ready Whip whipping cream. It is so good. So, 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 so good. Yummy. And if I, rem if I make one for us tonight, I'll try my best to remember to film that for you. I made this last night. I forgot how many steps that go into it. So, supper, dinner was kind of a little late. It's the cauliflower casserole I've made it before. Here's the recipe if you're interested in the uh, cauliflower casserole. Pause it, screenshot it. I am going to start a load of clothes and today I'm going to be washing the back window. I don't know why I can't get it through my thick skull to make sure your battery is nice and charged. It happens to me more often than not. It's going to be a beautiful day here today. Hence, washing the windows, I think up to the 60s. December the 15th, 60s in the winter. Oh my gosh. Or is it not winter yet until the 21st? Hmm. Maybe that's what it's doing. It's getting in these last super warm days to confuse the trees and the flowers and whatnot. So I like to turn my shirts, tops, clothes, inside out to wash. And this is the only white thing that I need to wash right now. I will have to do whites after this load, like towel whites, but not like shirt whites. I don't want to put this in with the towels because I'll bleach the towels and the uh, wash thing. That's just one item. I will get one of the pods. And I have got to get some more fabric softener while I'm thinking about it. Just put it on a delicate. Now I'll hang these to dry. Ken's clothes are in the dryer. Here's how ridiculous I am. My pants from the waist down goes on black hangers. Tops, shirts, blouses, hoodies, anything that you wear up the top goes on white hangers. Is that not ridiculous? I wish I had those really nice hangers. But good gosh, I couldn't afford, all, afford those with the clothing that I have or that we have actually. I couldn't afford that. Even Ken knows white for the tops, black for the bottoms. Let's hang on to dry. Actually, today's a really good day. Let's turn that heat down too. Ooh. Actually, I'm just gonna turn that heat off right now because I will end up. And did I turn it off? Yes, okay. Because actually I will probably end up cracking some windows. Cracking, that means open. Either put the window up or put the window down. I think Ken used to laugh at me when I said, would you crack that window? He'd act like he's gonna punch the window to break it, to crack it. I meant, would you, you know, put the window down, if we're in the car, put the window down enough that we can get some fresh air. Or if we're in a house and the windows go up and down, that means to lift open the window just a wee bit for fresh air. So I call it crack it, crack the window. Is that a term you all are familiar with or is that like, well, that's so ridiculously nuts. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a great day today. I just feel like it's gonna be a really good day. And today's Christmas socks brought to you by me. It's Christmas trees. Green, red, white, khaki, Christmas. Khaki, not tacky. Beige. The 12 days of a Merry Christmas socks. Got it through Amazon if you're you interested. You still have time if you order them now for Christmas for that granddaughter. Oh, never in your life that just loves Christmas and all things Christmas. So, or just go to Amazon, type in the search bar, Merry Christmas, 12 days of Christmas socks. And I bet it'll take you straight to these or some like them that you may like even better. Yeah, what do I want to smell like today? What do I want to smell like today? Today, washing windows. Yes, I wear perfumes, all fragrance, all the time. Even if it's going to be just staying home, chillaxing or Uh, or washing windows like I'm gonna do today. I have been through several bottles of these. The hypnotic, the poison hypnotic. <sighs> smells like Play-Doh, love it. Anything that smells like Play-Doh, crayons. I love, here's a few scents that I love. Play-Doh, crayons, markers, lighter fluid, gasoline, new book smell. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of new book. Of course, newborns. Hmm. But those are the, the smells that I am very fond of. Uh, which one of these, which one of these? I might want to smell sweet. Yeah, let's smell sweet today. Not an expensive fragrance, but one that smells so yummy, yummy, yummy. I like the truly, I like the truly unicorn fruit mixed with, oh, right here. And I know you can probably see all the dust and the cattle dog hair and all the things. I like it mixed with the sugar. They're both sweet. One's cotton candy-ish smelling and one's sugar. Of course, the unicorn fruit is sugary too. And the sugar is a sugar scent, a sugar scent. So I think I'll be sweet today and wear seats. I will be sweet today and wear my sweet fragrances. Ken always loves the sweet smells. I en truly enjoy a lot of masculine smells too. Did y'all know Dolly has a perfume now? When it came out, Aha de Hava. Right. I found that w w a lot of my fragrances, perfumes, a lot of times that body lotion will last a whole lot longer than the actual fragrance. Like the angel that I wear, I love that body lotion. Uh, it, it costs almost as much as the bottle of the fragrance, but it lasts a long time. Angel is one of my favorite scents. Muse by Terry Mugler. Love his scents. He has a new one, and I don't have it, but I think I have the majority of his others, or I did at some point. Like, I had the Alien, and I ended up just buying just a small bottle of that, of the Alien because it's not one I want a large bottle of, but I have had the large bottle. So, but the Dolly, if you want to know what Dolly smells like, look look for her perfume. It smells so fresh and so clean. So I enjoy that one too. But I love me some fragrances. Oh my gosh. This is one of my pieces that I kept.
Here's a couple of few books that I am reading on. Well, getting ready to start Just reading. Come Let Us Adore Him is a 21-day devotional. This one I haven't started from Max Licato. Because of a Bethlehem, love is born, hope is here. Chapter one, I love Christmas. Chapter two, God has a face. Twelve chapters, every day a Christmas every part a manger and it does have like a study in the back i was thinking it did have a study week one you would do your study on hope and then it gives scripture to read and then questions for reflection so this might be something good for yourself just for your quiet time or it might be something to do with your spouse or even your family so that one would be, would be a good read at the 1st of December, as, as well as Paul David Tripp's 21 Days of Advent Devotion. And then I heard about this one, Juniper's Christmas. It is a child or young or youth reading, but he said he was really enjoying it. And I've heard other people saying they're reading it and enjoying it's it. It's a heartwarming classic in the making about one girl's wild adventure to find her mother, protect her community, and save Christmas. And I just keep these in the living room because I thoroughly enjoy that girl's, one of the girl's bone kicked out of the way. I thoroughly enjoy coming in here a couple times throughout the day just to take a sit down and chill, be still, and just know. So I just leave these here in the living room for my favorite chair to gaze upon my Christmas decor. I had forgotten all about having these out in the garage refrigerator. And this is the first time I'm trying this pina colada. Oh, it's good. It's very, very good. To get my sugar-free chocolates. And they're not bad. Not bad at all. I had a caramel last night and a regular chocolate. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good three products I use. White vinegar, Dawn, and the Jet Dry in a bucket with very warm water to wash the window. And a step stool here. Still kind of chilly in the shade, but I'm just gonna tough it out. I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna be very, very brave and do the things, all the things. It's going to take much to hook those pipe up, but, you know, that would be too much work for me right now. <laughs> LOL. I mean, I could ask him if he would go and hook it up, and he would, but I'm not going to bother him. He's out on the tractor today. It's like I drink my water, whether I'm feeling it or not. I feel like when I want a snack during the day, I really just need to hydrate is what I need to do, and I'm... Not feeling the water today, but I know my body needs it, so I gotta push it. Sometimes it's just blech. But boy, when it's hot outside and I'm doing yard work and push mowing, oh, there's nothing like a fresh, cold bottle of water. Water does the body good. Each time I'm feeling snacky and wanna grab a little something, something, I'm gonna take a drink of water. go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy 